Hello, Skifalonians. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, right. Anyway, uh, that term may be new to you, Skifalonians, but uh, back in 96, uh, looking in First and Second Thessalonians, saw a couple verses in chapters 1 of both books that reminded me of the folks at Skiff, so uh, that's where the Skiffalonian terminology came from. Uh, we are Rex and Shirley Schaffner, uh, started attending back in 93, and then served at uh, EBI, previously known as NTBI, from 96 through 2015. Mm -hmm. And then we moved to Albuquerque, I'm now a full-time rep, and uh, trying to find missionary candidates out here in the southwest. Uh, pretty area, and we're glad to be here. Um, nice to see uh, a number of you guys on stage that you were just kids way back, and that's uh, Adam and Emily, um, Soraya, uh, Kelly, Sam, and Isaac. Appreciate you guys leading us in music. Had you all in our Awana groups. Yeah, that's right. But good to see you. Thanks for leading us in praising God in song. It's also good to hear Carl and Steve speaking and preaching. Uh, those are great voices from the past that have spoken into Shirley's and my lives as well as the lives of our kids. So we're really grateful for you guys. Quick update on the family. So we were really blessed to get with our entire family this past December, traveled out to California. And this is a picture of everybody in California. Uh, the dog is Mudge, a new puppy invited into the family by Mike and Rachel, and their two little ones, uh, Maxwell and Winston. Then uh, we stayed with Megan and Rico and Olivia and Luke. Um, then our son from Missouri, Aaron, and his wife, Megan, and their kids, Stella and Hudson, flew out as well. So we had a fantastic time. Everybody's doing great. They're all able to work remotely. Um, so it's been a real blessing that we've been able to see them. Uh, I spent the last three years in real estate, and I was amazed that I even passed the test. But after uh, serving three years and having some pretty good uh, accomplishments with certain people that I just thoroughly enjoyed working with, uh, with COVID and all the new restrictions and new paperwork, I decided to step out of that and just uh, come back and be full-time support for uh, Rex in, the, in his work for Ethnos 360, as well as taking care of the house and garden. Yeah, so alongside my Ethnos 360 ministry, I've been filling in as a temporary uh, part-time administrator for our church here in Albuquerque. Uh, it's been a great blessing and a privilege, and it's given me great opportunity to get to know the staff and serve them, uh, share quite a bit about Ethnos 360. The elder I work with uh, has really become a fan of Ethnos 360 and our methodology, the chronological teaching. And so I've been able to keep them apprised about uh, teaching that's going on in different tribes, uh, one of which is the Dem people in Asia Pacific. And uh, I don't know if you've seen this picture or heard much about them, but uh, this was their first day of teaching. And the... They estimated that the crowd was about 500 people that came. And in fact, uh, they've just now finished up their second week of teaching and the attendance has not died down. So they're just super excited. Uh, we know three couples uh, that we trained at um, NTBI, uh, the Teals, the Stokes, and the Currys. And those guys have been laboring for years to get to this point. They are just thrilled to death to be seeing so many people show up for the teaching, and they've got about uh, 13 weeks or so left of teaching. Half of it will be the Old Testament, and then they'll introduce Jesus and teach through the Gospels and present the death, burial, resurrection. And Lord willing, there'll just be scores and scores of new believers in the Dem village uh, within a short time. Other things I've been focusing on with Ethnos 360 uh, is um, facilitating online classes and working on our online discipleship program. Uh, it's just a thrill to be working with Scott Keen. You guys may know Scott. Uh, and uh, so I get together with him a couple times a month, and we uh, just work through different aspects of those two uh, programs with Inethnos. 
Uh, we've been developing topical discussions for our full-time online students uh, that will do, um, do that program with a mentor from their home church. And Lord willing, some will even catch the vision for going into missions with Ethnos 360 as a result of that one-year program. In the fall of 19, an Ethnos 360 coworker and I kicked off an alumni coaching program to stay in touch with EBI grads. And so I've been working with about uh, 14 couples and 11 singles over the last year, uh, emailing and phone, uh, calling them, and just trying to encourage them, stay focused and keep moving forward. Uh, so uh, rep work slowed a little bit in churches, as you can imagine, given the COVID, although there's one church in this area, Faith Bible Church, that continues to ask me to come and speak. And so they love Ethnos 360 and just pray for us. Uh, and then I'm just trusting the Lord for timing and opening up other churches and so we can get back in and start uh, challenging others to get, um, get involved. I know you all pray, so if I could leave you with some prayer requests, that would be great. Uh, pray for some of the youth pastors in the area to consider taking their groups to Wyumi. Uh, that's a great program, as you all know. Uh, pray for the alumni that I'm working with, uh, that many or most of them uh, will... Uh, continue on in the training before too long. Pray for open doors and receptive hearts and that God would raise up more laborers from this area. Pray for Jordan and Debbie. Uh, uh, Jordan I've been meeting with. He's a pastor intern from Ecuador. Been meeting with him a couple years and they really have a heart for uh, planting churches among unreached people and love to see them join us. And then if you wouldn't mind, pray for Pavan for his salvation. I've been meeting with Pavan about four years He's an engineer at Sandia and a young, 31, I think he's 32 years old today. But anyway, love to see him come to the Lord. We talk a lot about spiritual things and uh, I just would love to see him trust Christ. So thanks again, Skifalonians, for your huge support for us over the years and your prayers. We really appreciate it. We thank God at every remembrance of you and love you all. God bless.